Namaste. This is Dr. Sahana Jeevi from Parvati Netralaya. I am an ophthalmologist and a retina consultant with 17 years experience in ophthalmology. My special interest is diabetic retinopathy and I've had the expertise and privilege to have screened and treated over 35,000 diabetics as on date. In this video, let us know a little bit more about diabetic retinopathy. So what is diabetic retinopathy? In India, there is an estimate that about 100 million people are diabetic and out of these, about 13 to 14 percent end up with diabetic retinopathy. So diabetic retinopathy is the problem that happens because of diabetes in the retina of the eye, which is the back part of the eye, because of which people have either decreased vision or also lose vision leading to blindness. Out of the people who have diabetic retinopathy, about 4% also have what we call severe vision threatening diabetic retinopathy. So uh, when it comes to absolute numbers for about the 100 million diabetic people, about 40 lakh Indians are at the risk of losing vision because of diabetic retinopathy. So it's high time we know about it and know about how we can prevent this loss. So diabetes causes complications basically by involving the very small blood vessels in different parts of the body and retina is also one of them. So this is called as microangiopathy. So the small blood vessels start leaking and they leak fluid and uh, cause decreased vision. So this is diabetic retinopathy. Now diabetic retinopathy per se can be divided into various stages, the non-proliferative and the proliferative. In the non-proliferative, we have the mild, moderate and severe stages. And in the proliferative stage, we see the growth of uh, new blood vessels. And these new blood vessels are very fragile and they either lead to bleeding in the eye or they cause retinal detachment, both of which can cause um, blindness. Now there's also another component of this diabetic retinopathy which we call as macular edema. Basically what happens is fluid accumulates in the central part of the retina which is responsible for our vision. So people have varied symptoms of uh, decrease in vision. So what are the risk factors for uh, diabetic retinopathy? The main risk factor is the duration of diabetes. The longer you have diabetes, the higher the risk. The second is poor blood sugar control. So higher the sugar levels, uh, higher the chances of diabetic retinopathy. Apart from this, if a diabetic patient has a high BP or a high cholesterol or even obesity, then they are at a higher risk of developing diabetic retinopathy. Also for families where you know this uh, one generation has had diabetic retinopathy, the person in the next generation having diabetic retinopathy also increases. So genetics also a uh, huge part. Also smoking is a very big risk factor and generally men are at a higher risk of having uh, diabetic retinopathy as compared to women. Of course, the incidence of diabetic retinopathy both in urban and, urban and rural areas is almost the same. So, um, early detection of diabetic retinopathy becomes extremely important because when it is in mild or moderate stage, if we emphasize on uh, great blood sugar control along with decrease of the other risk factors, then definitely the patient can maintain the retina at a stage that it does not lead to decreased vision or even blindness. And since diabetic retinopathy also correlates with uh, the damage happening with the rest of the organs including the kidney, the heart and the nerves, making sure that the sugar is under good control as soon as there is a mild or moderate diabetic retinopathy would also ensure that there is no uh, advanced diabetic damage in the rest of the organs. So, if you are a diabetic patient, how do you know whether you have diabetic retinopathy or not? Unfortunately, people with even advanced and even proliferative diabetic retinopathy can have absolutely good vision and there may not be any signs or symptoms of diabetic retinopathy. So, in uh, general, it would be advisable that as soon as you know that you are diabetic, please visit your nearest ophthalmologist, get your retina checked for diabetic retinopathy. 
It is advised that if you do not have diabetic retinopathy, you get your eyes checked every year. But then if you have any stage of retinopathy, then according to the stage of retinopathy, you would be advised a more frequent follow up and treatment in case of any proliferative diabetic retinopathy or macular edema. So what is the treatment modality mainstay for all of these problems? So the first thing would be to make sure that your sugars are under good control and the proper treatment for the eye would be in the form of lasers or injections or even surgery. Now that would be depend on, dependent on the stage of uh, retinopathy and it would be best discussed with your ophthalmologist. So if you are a diabetic or you know a person who is diabetic, what is it that you can do to make sure that your risk of diabetic retinopathy is the least? So one is to make sure that your sugar is under great control. So that would include your nutrition, your exercise and medications, all the three being equally important. Regular checkups with your diabetologist to make sure that your sugars and your HPA1C are all under good control and all the other parameters for looking at the body as a holistic uh, checkup for diabetes is equally important. Also make sure that you visit your ophthalmologist as soon as you are detected diabetic. I am sure you would have a lot of questions based on the video. If you have any queries, concerns, do feel free to let us know in the comments below. I will try my best to address these in my next videos. Thanks for listening to the video. Namaste.